We're going to stay on the travel theme now for the holiday weekend. If you are planning to travel, the bright lights in Las Vegas may have even more to offer than you might think. Not just blackjack and slot machines, sensational shows, but also some of the best food in the country. ABC's Rachel Smith sampled some with the help of the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority. It's a tourist hotspot known for luxury, entertainment, and even a little temptation. But beyond the bright lights and spectacular water shows like the one at the Bellagio, the approximate four mile stretch offers a seemingly endless smorgasbord of fine dining options, boasting celebrity chefs and more master sommeliers than any other U.S. destination. The competition amongst chefs out here is pretty fierce. That makes the cuisine in this town grow. Naturally, that sent me behind the scenes. This is where the magic happens. For the scoop, or maybe stir in the kitchen. First up, family-style Italian cuisine at Rio Caesar's Palace, the brainchild of the popular New York restaurant founded in 1896. Why is Vegas such a hot destination for chefs and restaurants from all around the world? It has evolved into this very rich, vibrant, new city that has the best of the best these days. Especially the meatballs. Oh my gosh. It's pretty good, I didn't huh? know a meatball could be so good. Smack dab in the center of the alluring strip is where chef Stephen Hopcraft, seen on shows like Top Chef, is heating things up at SDK Las Vegas at the Cosmopolitan. Something that we do different at SDK is we have small, medium, and large cuts. So everybody's gonna eat comfortably and not be too full so they can still go out and enjoy Vegas nightlife. And rounding out the tasty trip, I venture south. Literally, to whip up modern Mexican at Border Grill Las Vegas inside Mandalay Bay Hotel and Casino with Top Chef Masters contestants, the two hot tamales, chefs Mary Sue Milliken and Susan Feniger. Why is Vegas the place to be? It's just such a fun place to be, mm -hmm. and when you, the minute you get off the plane, you can feel it in the air that people are excited to be here. For Good Morning America, Rachel Smith, ABC News, Las Vegas.